Hi, my name is Christy, and welcome back to our Fast Devotionals. I am so happy that you have made a commitment in this season to put God first in every area, including what you're eating. Fasting is all about um, putting God in priority, um, putting ourselves, our own flesh, our own needs way down there, not even second, but like pushing it down right and when we do that when we prioritize God and listening to his voice we get his results which is so important um, I want to bring up this time that I learned something and it was something that nothing else nobody else was actually involved with at all it was literally just the Holy Spirit speaking directly to me and helping me to grow helping me to mature in my faith and develop and I know that this was an attribute that made me stronger in every area of my life. I became more self-disciplined. I became more disciplined to his word. I became more attuned to God's will for my life. And all of these things were so important in order for me to be an effective leader in God's house. I just said, Lord, what do you have for me to get out of this season of fasting? Like, what is it for me? Um, and what should I be fasting? Like, what do I need to remove? God spoke to me shortly after and I, I would say, I, I usually my go-to was like a Daniel fast. And with a Daniel fast though, I would, I don't know if I was like 100% Daniel, it was Daniel-ish. Um, because I would, let's say, oh, I'm gonna go get a, a cup of beans at Del Taco, no cheese, you know, with green sauce. And what he told me was I, that he didn't want me going to fast food or going out, but he wanted me to stay home and to cook and to prepare my meals myself. It's convenient for you to go to a, a restaurant, a fast food place. And he wanted me to not give in to my flesh to convenience, but to be willing to endure past that. And endurance is such an amazing attribute in our Christian walk. When I can endure, I can say no to my flesh, no to my will, no to the circumstances around me, and yes, to God. So I encourage you in this season of fasting to grow in your character, to grow in your faith, okay? To grow to the next level by saying no to self and yes to Him. <laughs> so let's get into today's reading. Today's reading, I had Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 8. We're specifically talking about the wise men's interaction with Herod. And it says, now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, okay? So we know that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus was actually born in human form. This is the incarnation of Jesus in Bethlehem, okay? A real city in Judea. It's still there today, okay? And it says, during the reign of King Herod. So this is all history and God is real, this real. And it says, about that same time, some wise men from Eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, in Judea, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah, for a ruler will come from you, who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men and he learned from them the, t the time when the star first appeared. Then he told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. Well, we know Herod was not trying to worship Jesus, but I am so excited about these wise men. See, wisdom comes by being able to discern God. I discern God moving and acting. I discern God's will. And these wise men, though they studied the stars and they had all of this human knowledge, they did not neglect scripture. What good is it to have all the knowledge in the world, but to have never read your own Bible, to not understand God's divine wisdom and strategy? When God is getting ready to move in your life, when God says, this is who I created you to be, nothing and no one can keep it from happening. Not Herod himself trying to um, intervene on the birth of Christ, but that Jesus was gonna be born there, the prophecy was gonna be fulfilled, the stars were moving, the people were, were being um, uh, motivated um, to, to leave their home, to come to this place, and all these things are happening all over, why? 
because God was getting ready to move. And I believe in this season, God wants to move in your life. And God is saying, don't let anything be a discouragement or a hindrance. I'll move heaven and earth on your behalf. I'll get people who normally wouldn't even talk about you to start having meetings about you because of what God is gonna do in your life. So. Thank you for being here today. We look forward to you continuing to press every single day. Get every little nugget of insight and wisdom that God has for you in this fasting season as we start 2024 because God is about to move.